What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka Allfires and we got a huge leak for what may be one of the most highly anticipated episodes coming from Marvel on all the Disney Plus series this year, the Tony Stark episode of What If. Now we heard from Jeff Goldblum, the actor who plays the Grandmaster last year, hinting that Robert Downey Jr. may indeed be reprising his role for the voiceover. We've also seen a couple of leaked frames. We're going to compile all of that, share that during this video if you're not caught up. But for First, we have to talk about this brand new leak, giving us a first look at the new armor headed to the MCU via Tony Stark, even from beyond the grave, the Sakaran Hulkbuster. It's coming from toys, so we know it's official. We have all the high def shots. We're going to show them to you guys, break them down in full, annotate them where we can, and then let you know how this informs us a little bit as to what's coming throughout this episode, what other Marvel characters are involved. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5 now at 900 thousand subscribers as well as Disney Plus subscriptions every Friday while the shows are live. We'll also be announcing an amazing new giveaway with Loki next week. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit that subscribe button, then leave a comment down below. And if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So first up, the normal spoiler warning. This is an official leak because of where it's coming from, a Lego set. So if this is in any way going to ruin What If or the surprise that's upcoming in the Marvel What If series, and especially including this Tony Stark episode on Sakaar, then you might want to back out now. Otherwise, let's dive right in. So back around the time of Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, and Spider-Man Far From Home, we had a saying here at the channel is that toys always leak it because there was a toy leak coming out week after week after week for about a month and a half leading up to the movie. And when they're toys, you can tell they're official just by looking at the merchandise. Today's leak comes to us via Lego, a brand new Lego set for What If, telling us all about and informing us about the episode that Tony Stark is set to make the Sakaar and Hulkbuster. Here's the shots. So what the first shot reveals for this What If set is a Sakaar and Hulkbuster. You can see it's clearly the Hulkbuster design, but when you look more closely at the sort of stuff that's going on with the detailing, you can tell it's got Sakaar and flavor because of the colors and the way it's designed. Now, the other two immediate things we can tell are the characters involved in this episode. Not only do you get a Lego Tony Stark, but you also get a Lego Valkyrie and you get a Lego Watcher as well. And the first thing that people noticed was that this mech can actually turn into a race car. Now, obviously, there are a couple of images that are synonymous with Tony Stark in the MCU, the sound of ACDC, and him working on cars. In fact, the coloring for Iron Man, if you remember from Iron Man 1, comes directly from the hot rod. It looks like, according to this set, and if this set is replicating what happens in the episode, that this Sakaar and Hulkbuster that he's going to build can also turn into a car. So hoping we see that in the episode with the clear shot of the three Legos included as far as people, you can tell this is Tony Stark. This is not some other version of him. And that's when I'd like to point out that Jeff Goldblum in his initial interview talking about the VO that's voiceover in the industry for working on an episode like this leaked the beans that of course Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. would be back for that voiceover. Now, I suspected that Disney was keeping this quiet because it's a huge announcement to fuel the marketing as soon as they go live with the show, which is now set to be released in August. That's an official update we have from Marvel. But let's be real. They're not bringing in a Tony Stark to not have Robert Downey Jr. reprise that role. And he's not really coming back to the role because this isn't the continuity of the MCU. This is a what if episode. Plus, he can pop into a local studio, do this voiceover in an afternoon. I don't see any reason why he wouldn't do it. The fact that he's building a Hulkbuster, though, and landing on Sakaar sort of puts us in mind of exactly what happened to Thor during Thor Ragnarok, except this time it's going to be Tony Stark. And the last time that Tony Stark got stuck and stranded somewhere as a captive, well, he built an armor to fight his way out. If the Hulk is still the champion in Sakaar, that would place this after the events of Age of Ultron, right? Because that's when he left in the Quinjet. And you remember that during Age of Ultron, Dr. Banner even admitted that he helped build Veronica. So Veronica will have already been built at this point. Tony Stark will have some familiarity about how to build the Hulkbuster. And while he won't have Dr. Banner's help, presumably Dr. Banner will already be on Sakaar. You can't think he'd be building a Hulkbuster for any other reason than to face off against Hulk in the arena. Now, I may be wrong. It may be a different champion. But the fact that this is a Hulkbuster armor sort of explains the whole episode, right? Tony Stark, for some reason, instead of Loki and Thor, is going to end up on Sakaar 
taken captive the exact same way, and then you'll get a pairing of characters that didn't really get to interact during the Infinity Saga, and when you think about it, a lot of these episodes are like that, watching T'Challa get to interact with Yondu, now we'll get Tony Stark interacting with the Grandmaster and Valkyrie, and even if they did somehow interact some of these characters very lightly during the Infinity Saga, there wasn't much at all, especially not like this. One thing that I will mention is that we already saw Hulk versus Veronica the Hulkbuster with Tony Stark as the pilot during Age of Ultron. We're watching it right now in this video. So it makes me wonder if for a what if episode where anything is possible considering its animation, they won't have a different Grandmaster. Yes, he's going to build this Hulkbuster, but could he be facing off against a different champion? Again, it's animation. They can do whatever they want. And we've already seen this fight in the MCU. And if they are going to go a different route, guys, let me know down in the comments which route you think they'll go. Now, there are some frames floating around of this Sakaar and Hulkbuster and what it might look like during What If from some of the frames that were in the initial What If logo as it flies in. We have that shot for you here and we'll show it to you. This is a major spoiler warning because this concept art is probably right on the money given the other concept art we've already seen in full animation. Here's the shot of what this is going to look like, possibly during the cartoon. You can see it here, Credit where credit's due for whomever leaked this. I can't exactly read that watermark, but this is the Sakaar and Hulkbuster. That's it. That's what we're seeing in the Lego set. I'm wondering, Hulk or not? Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. Do you want to see a rematch, or do you think it would be more clever if they had a different champion? Of course, the fact that he built a Hulkbuster kind of makes it feel like it's going to be Hulk, but also I'm just hoping we get to see it turn into a race car and fly out of there like a Transformer. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below, and quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away a PlayStation 5 now at 900,000 subscribers, as well as Disney Plus subscriptions every Friday while the shows are live, starting again next week, and we have a brand new amazing giveaway to give away to coincide with the beginning of Loki. If you want to be entered to win, all the same rules will always apply here at the channel. Hit that subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be selected at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter under I Am Fires. You can also find me with original music on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, Amazon, wherever you get your tunes under the name All Fires. I'd sincerely appreciate it if you check it out. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys. My name is Michael Roman. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.